Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Sorry we haven't put up a video for a while. You know, with the holiday weekend and all, we decided to spend some quality time with the family. And you know, it's really nice that the girls are older, we get invited over to their house for a cookout. Can't beat that. We got to spend some time with the grandkids and had a blast playing with them. So, back to work now. So I thought I'd show you what's going on here in the high tunnel and the strawberries and a mistake I made and how I tried to fix it. Hopefully I think it should work and something new that Doug's doing in here. So stay tuned. Now, if you Okay, let's start out with the problem I have. What I did is I planted the three strawberry plants in the beto buckets here in the middle of the beto bucket, which isn't good because it's, uh, it's plants too far away from the sides to hang over the side. And so all my strawberries were getting into the growing medium and you know that's damp and wet and that's not a good thing for them. They were getting moldy and mildewy on the ends there. So what I did is I went through and I put this string up. I gotta get this guy over it. And now I have all my strawberries resting over the side of the string and so now they're growing out of the medium and they can get nice and large and see how nice and big that guy's getting. So I think this is going to be a solution for the problem I have. So next year when I go to use these I am definitely going to make sure the plants are close enough to the edges so they can drop over the sides. Oh, and I see I have a runner here I got to get off. I've been trying to pull all the runners off so the plants give all their energy back to the strawberries. Now if you watch some of our past videos you know I have black beto buckets and I have white beto buckets. Just, um, just the way it happened when I bought them. because I got them at two different times. I got the white ones first and then the black ones later on and wanted to see if there was a difference in the harvesting so i went and harvested some today i know i didn't get all my strawberry plants in at the same time so it's hard to tell exactly but it seems like the black ones are producing a little bit larger fruit but time will tell when the summer gets warmer and we'll see what happens with the white ones over there i mean they're still producing really well but it seems like the black ones are just a little bit ahead of them so, like i said it's non-scientific and boy, look at those runners I got there. Non-scientific here, but just my observation. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the nutrient formula that we're using. As you know, it's a custom uh, formula that Crop King developed for us based on our source water. And it's a service that they provide to people. So if you need your source water analyzed and want a special recipe that you can buy all your nutrients in bulk, you should contact them. But it's really made a big difference in my strawberries this year. I noticed that they're a lot bigger and a lot sweeter. And you know how I like to leave them on the vine till they're nice and red. So here, look at this guy. Isn't he pretty? And red all the way through. Nothing better than a nice sweet strawberry. I think I'm going to have to pick some more and eat some more of these. Mm. Yum. It's always different working out here in the high tunnel than the greenhouse. The main thing that I notice is how quiet it is because I don't have all the environmentals going. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear the birds in the background. So it's a total different environment out here. So it's a good change of pace for me. And there goes my black buckets down to my white buckets here. So if you guys have a chance to do a high tunnel, I think it's pretty cool. So in the last video, Doug showed you all the wood that he was cutting. Well, here is what his final product looks like. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Nice ash that he's using from the farm here. So he's got the planks here ready to hold up the grow bags. He made the sawhorses and he made um, a, them a little bit different. He put a 15 degree angle on the bottom of them so they stand a little bit better. And he's got them all joined up there at the top. He had his nailer out here the other day and was putting this all together for me. So this is what I'm going to do with all the extra strawberries I have since I didn't put as many in the the beto buckets as I had originally planned on and I think my production is still doing pretty good and here I have some of the grow bags already filled up they lay on here perfect see. pretty cool so I got some more to fill up here they're not too bad to fill up I just use a coffee can and uh, put the vermiculite and perlite mixture in there. Yeah, that's what we're using because I do have a lot of vermiculite and perlite, so we decided to use that up and put these in the grow bags. And the next thing Doug's going to make for me, he's going to get a um, pipe and he's going to put an edge on it so I can poke holes in these bags and plant the strawberries. My plan is to probably put five on each side and then Doug's going to pull a drip tape down the middle of it so they'll get watered and of course the same nutrient water and on the same system and we'll probably poke a couple holes in the bottom of the bags here so they don't get waterlogged because strawberries don't like wet feet. 
So this should be an ex interesting another little trial thing we're doing here. We'll see how it goes. Don't like to have anything go to waste and we didn't want to waste those strawberries so we thought we'd throw them in here. Okay, so you probably noticed I didn't fill the bag all the way up to the top. I left some empty space. Because you can see down here where it's all full, it's pretty round. So I'm going to leave some empty space so once I tie it off, some of this growing medium will fill up into here and it'll lay flat on Doug's board. Now to get these um, sealed at the end, Doug came up with the idea. He has these um, wires that he uses on his maple syrup to connect the maple syrup return lines to the high tinsel wire. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and twist it around the top there to seal it so I don't lose any of my growing medium. Just put it on there. I mean, there's all kinds of different ways you can do this, but this is what we found out would work. And then I take the fencing pliers, always need fencing pliers, and twist the two ends together. Oops. Of course, when you want to do it for the camera, it doesn't come out perfect, but you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. So there, all sealed up and ready to go put on the board. Okay, there we go. All leveled out and ready to start the next bag. Well, you guys know I can't do a video without doing an update, so I thought I'd do an update on Doug's uh, paste tomatoes he has here. He has them all strung up with the uh, beto bobbins. They're all facing upwards now. You can see they got the all the way up to the wire there. They seem to be happy in here. Or, like I said, have them on the strawberry formula because we just have the one dosatron system out here and these guys are just for us and then I top dressed them with some fertilizer and they seem to be doing good. I know I'd like to have a perfect recipe for everything that we have but with limited resources and different systems we do the best that we can and we see what works and go with it and so far this seems to be working. Just like anything else you need to pay attention to your plants. They'll, t they'll tell you if something's not happy, if there's something's wrong with them, if they don't have enough fertilizer they'll turn yellow or yucky or if they're not, not getting enough water, they'll be wimpy. Just have to pay attention to them and see how they're doing. So we're going to pay attention to these guys and make sure they do okay because I do want to put up some sauce. Or I should say Doug's going to put up the sauce because he's the best cook in the house. So we'll see what happens. But so far, so good. Well, I hope you guys like this video. It's always fun working out here in the high tunnel and taste testing the strawberries. So like always, please leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions down below. And we'll see you guys next video.